Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bubba dabba doo ba Hello, yeah. Cool. Is there a way to get the feet off? Get the, is okay, what's the delay? Is the real question. Oh, uh, yeah, from there to there, I'm wondering what the delay is. Or, like, because if I'm talking, I'm just wondering. I should probably just do it off this. Okay. Okay, so this is winner's semis, okay. Okay, Shroom Greeno, I I think Shroom Greeno were first seed in this tournament. Uh, and then I think behind them keep you and FW, but game two. 
Obviously in a situation where two stocks for either team can turn into a lead, especially if they're able to retain their next stocks. She can invertible position, but able to recover high enough that she doesn't get the lag frames on the down puppy. And no one quite fast enough to get to her while she's falling. And this percent being built on Falco is pretty critical since she can Martha staying alive. There we go. Soft finishing by the edge guard and uh, only Waffles taken care of. Shroomed. Back still on team throw. Red team in the corner. Reno did a good job of walling them out, and he sort of posture as if he was going to keep walling them out and then ran up to the down smash. It didn't quite work out, but it was an interesting mind game. He didn't get that punished for it. But here we go. Red team in the center again, but back in the corner. Beautiful rest, but Shroom is right there with the punish. Okay. Okay, yeah, the forward smash there is pretty good because he's got Falco all the way on the other side, so the worst thing that's gonna happen is they're both gonna shield. And Falco's still applying a lot of pressure, so it's probably gonna hit, and that's a beautiful grab into forward smash. Jake's just barely able to get there in time. And Red Team with a nice little lead now. Uh, not quite gonna tip, I uh, know, it did tip her, but... Okay. Falco staying alive is pretty important. He's still got basically a, a one stock lead. Here, Falco's isolated on the top platform, but honestly, he wants to be above both of these characters, so it's not that bad. Okay, Soft being very cautious about how he's going to commit here. But right now, Blue Team's building that percent on Falco. If they can kill him before Puff dies, it's going to be pretty rough. Okay, yeah. Good 1v1 here. Nice target switch from Mummy Waffles. And there we go. There's the quick ledge grab. He says, okay, we're dipping. Even if even if he had dipped to the point where even if he decided to up B, it was just easily reactable for uh, Shroom to have to the ledge. So that was a really good edge guard. Really good call on, on what height Falco was going to be at. But there's a dash attack. This is actually really, really critical for... There's a back air. It's really critical for Red Team to take these two stocks right now. Especially... Okay. This is where Falco dies at zero. Oh! Is he dead? Is he dead? He... He is. Okay. Now we got... Wow. Wow. And now uh, Blue Team just making short work of this Falco. He's got himself free now. Let's see if he can scrap a bit. One hit on Sheik is probably going to kill. Uh, no, beautiful DI from Reno, yeah. Uh, but whiff can combo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to be homemade waffles at 145 versus Shroom's Marth. And here we go, here's the combo. Doesn't quite get that back air, but he's... Yeah, he tries... He's in a really rough position. He can still side... Yeah, he still has enough... Nice angle cool edge, and there we go. Okay, he just rolls away instead of opting for a defensive option since he knew that uh, Shrimp was spaced pretty well. Especially behind Falco's shield. He can't do the down air really. <gasps> he goes for it! And he makes it! Oh, wow. Wow. That, that game was just so... Soft basically killing himself at like zero when they had the lead, and then the 2v1 comeback from Homie Waffle is just up, down, up, down for both teams. Here we go, go into game three. I assume this is best of five. Wow. That was, uh, that was one for the highlight reel. And here we go. Looks like they're going back to Battlefield. And they're getting right into it. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. I don't, I don't know. Soft, Soft had that SD last game. I didn't exactly see what the circumstances were that. I don't know. Maybe a few flubs. Oh, wow. Yeah, the thing is, like, Marth's Sheik, they have weaknesses in that they sometimes they lack killing power, especially if Marth's not able to land those tippers. But, like, they both are edge, able to edge guard spaces in particular so well, and they both are able to create walls in an incredible way. Like, Sheik's forward air and Marth's forward air are some of the best walling tools in the game. Maybe one and two, even. Besides, maybe, uh, Pef's bear. But. And they're, they're making it work, for sure, but... Okay, okay, good, yeah, good way to get Puff off his teammate. I think, uh... This lead is gonna... Okay, yeah, this, this lead is starting to solidify into something really... 
pretty insurmountable. Eh, never mind. He just they just need to kill kill Marth and then they're gonna stock down. But there we go, yeah. That's gonna be Nash Guard and Falco, and Puff is in the corner. Goes for a rest. Uh, not the worst, because he knows Invincible Falco is going to come down soon, and he's going to be able to get him out of that rest whenever he wants. And there we go. Oh, he misses the uh, the jab on that to get him out. But not a huge punish since it is Sheik. And Marth, like, unless he lines up a really quick tipper on his down smash or his forward smash, can't do anything really quick. Because the norm like normally Marth can just do an easy line up the tipper in singles for the rest, or line up just even neutral charge up neutral B. But neither of these characters has really a fast thing with that, which doesn't require like a decent amount of spacing to, to kill a puff that's been rested, that's that's missed a rest or even hit a rest. Here's red team. Okay, tries to save him, but the needles are just. Okay, yeah, there's down off the ledge. Two and a half stock lead for blue team. Okay. Ooh, okay. There is... I, this team just seems so... Like, these team compositions seem so weird. Because we've got... I think, solidly, you can say that... Like I said before, Marth Sheik... Yeah, this looks like it's probably going to be pretty... Yeah, oh, there we go. Just uh, decides to go out and say, I got a couple stocks to spare. Why not put this... Put this on the stream. For the people. But, uh... I don't know. Falco Puff, like, seems... Seems like Falco and Puff want very like you could say they complement each other, but they do seem to want very different things in teams. Like Falco's gonna like he can wall out with bears and up tilts, but like he's gonna wanna go in, get a down air, and then start something quick while while Puff is keeping the other person occupied so that well his teammate is keeping the other person occupied so he can just do this combo, right? But Puff I feel like is someone who's gonna want to set up a wall and maybe get an, you know a rest, but like it doesn't I don't I don't see them the the strengths that well, but of course you have Falco being able to wake up Puff from a distance with laser maybe, but even Falco's one of Falco's strongest things in teams is his ability to save his teammates recovering with lasers, but that's not really going to help Puff that much since she doesn't get her jumps back when you get hit by a laser in the air. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, just, I like up throw there, just gets Martha out of the way, maybe trying to set up for a 2 grand combo, and then an up smash just going to tip her into uh, killing Puff there. And there's a nice little team combo. Yeah. Homie Waffle's not dead yet, and there's a nice, oh, beautiful edge guard from Soft. Sheik right there to try to stop it, but uh, a little too late. And, uh... Okay, yeah. I mean, like, I could see a situation in which Falco is, is comboing someone behind Puff, and Puff's keeping the other person away with bears, but that would be pretty hard to, to set up. Especially if the other team is doing a good job of uh, staying together. Could work in a sandwich, though. Okay. E yeah. Okay. This is where Sheik is easy to kill, but he's not quite able to get to the ledge. Sheik below stage with her up B is pretty low on options. Like, at certain angles below the ledge with her up B. She usually just has to go either above the ledge or straight to the ledge, and then if you just hold and roll up, you've got you cover both options. But... Red team starting to build a little something of a lead here. Marth, Shroom Living with pretty beautiful DI. And here we go. Yeah, Reno's not wasting any time. Like, he just strolled up the... Strolled up with Sheik, did the F-tilt. Says, try to punish this. I've got Marth right behind me. Oh, wow. I did, I did not even see what happened there. Yeah, beautiful jab conversion from Reno. And uh, let's see if he can finish off this edge guard. Yeah, okay, see, normally, yeah. Normally, that's an easy edge guard. And here we go, yeah. Shroomed opting not to punish, because he doesn't have anything that's quick enough. He just does a sh huge amount of percent to HMW. Okay, gets a grab. I'm not sure if he SDI'd out the Nair, or uh, it was just, you know, badly, a bad call on the shine from HMW. And there we go, just such a quick. Shroomed, uh, gotten a couple of those today. Normally Puff not supposed to die, you know, that early to an edge guard. And, uh, here we go, basically tied up. Oh! What a beautiful save from Reno, that was insane. He know, okay, this is the set, he knew, this is the setup. I'm ready with this bear, it's a lasting hitbox, I don't even have to time it that well. 
and he gets the weak head too, just for, for measure. But there we go, there goes Shroomed. You know. Yeah, Reno creating a beautiful wall here. Nice turnaround. He's, he's walling out the backers, and then he immediately turns around. It just suits they're getting used to, like, okay, space from back air, turn around, do an option forward. Okay. And here we go. Yeah, this is going to be a 2v1. They have done this before. HMW has done this before in this set, but Sheik was at a lot higher percent last time. He's just keeping safe, trying to keep close to the cliff. He knows that... <gasps> what? Oh, my... Is he going to do it again? This is the same... Oh my, is he gonna do it again? Okay, I think he was trying to, yeah, I don't think you want to fight Marth down there. He's got that up B and the down air setup that's pretty brutal. Oh wow, he just tries to spot dodge, but he's still got the lead. Okay, he's playing safe, yeah, he's just dancing around and waiting for him to throw out something. Waiting to, <gasps> he doesn't get the, no punish sheet from either, either player. Just doesn't dare, oh, what was that dare? Okay. Here's Shroomed. Yeah, beautiful dash dance. Okay, Nair. How's he gonna get down? Here's the up air. Here's another up air. Okay. He can't confirm a kill off this, but he's waiting. Oh, no. He was... That's a... I don't know if... Oh, wow. Just the... Yeah, just the Nair. Just the random Nair. Wow, that was... Beautiful play from both teams, especially Homie Waffles at the end was just moving and grooving, but he did not quite have it. But that down air... Away from, away from Shroomed. Beautiful set. Winner's semis. I think the other side of Winner's semis.